My name is Véronique Archambault-Léger. I work in uh, Lee Lin's lab, um, and Shonjun Xiao is the postdoctoral student working with me on this project. Um, so I use hot water flow through uh, to pretreat biomass in order to produce cellulosic biofuels. And um, cellulosic biofuels are uh, extremely promising um, form of alternative uh, fuel um, and that's extremely important for many reasons um, including security, um, energy and uh, climate and pretreatment is one of the key limiting factors um, in the current cellulosic biomass technology and, and we think that um, with flow through pretreatment we can really make a breakthrough um, and make this uh, eco economically viable. So um, basically we want to open up the structure of the, um, of the plant cell wall which is um, shown in this picture where we want to ferment the cellulose but this needs to be breaking down, br broken down so we can actually ferment um, the cellulose to ethanol. And so the flow through is very simple. We load a simple reactor, which is a stainless, stu stainless steel tube, and we load it with biomass. It can be poplar, switchgrass, but gas, corn stover, and many other um, substrates. And we simply uh, water through a heating coil and through the reactor, and then in a cooling bath. And that's it. We collect both the hydrolyze it and the uh, remaining solids, and we ferment the solids. And so we've gotten really good results where most of the substrates were um, converted um, to 90% or more, um, and poplar was the least converted, about 80%. So um, I did more work on um, poplar, and um, I I, I optimized basically, th these are all more detailed um, experiments, but I, I basically optimized the flow through system on Poplar to, um, in my future years, um, go into further understanding of the kinetics and fluid mechanics and um, make, it, make this process more economically viable. And that's it.